Marshmallow, 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 marshmallow. It's a fun word to say, but harder to say if you have a marshmallow in your mouth when you're trying to say it. Marshmallow is also the name of the newest Android operating system. Now, all Android operating systems are named after tasty treats, not desserts, according to a six-minute video I watched this afternoon. Joining us to discuss the new name is Ron Richards, host of All About Android here on our network. Welcome, Ron. Hey, Megan. How are you doing? I am good. So have you eaten some marshmallows today in celebration? <laughs> I have not, but I, it made me miss the wonderful Malamars that I used to eat as a child, which are wonderful chocolate-covered marshmallows. Um, but yeah, no, this is a huge day. This is the this is the day that we've been waiting for since Google I/O, and they, then they finally announced the name and the new version. Uh, I have not eaten any marshmallows, but it did make me hungry just <laughs> thinking about this all day. Uh, and I do have some questions for you now. This is Android 6.0 Marshmallow, and the names go in order alphabetically, but M is not the sixth letter in the alphabet. Um, and Cupcake was the first Android that was named after a tasty treat. Uh, can you explain this to me? Well, well, I can't explain the logic behind it, but I can give you some facts. Actually, the first uh, the first name was an unofficial name of Android version 1.1 was called Petit Fours or Petit Fours or whatever, oh, Petit Fours. That doesn't yeah. begin with A. Yeah, exactly. It doesn't. But uh, but then they with uh, Android version 1.5, they started naming uh, the versions after dessert foods uh, with cupcake. Uh, unknown as to why or why they started with cupcake, um, but they have. And the version number doesn't actually like you like you said doesn't reflect the letter in the alphabet. You know, like version 1.6 was donut. And then, ver you know, version two was Eclair and version 2.2 .2 was Froyo. So, you know, they, they the naming structure of Google as to why it gets a dessert name or doesn't is unknown to us. Um, but I think the bigger question or the bigger surprise here was that I wasn't expecting this to be Android version 6.0. I thought this was going to be maybe Android version 5.2 or 5.5 or something like that um, because we were so early in the life cycle of, um, of Lollipop, uh, which was Android version 5.0. The fact that they decided to make it 6.0 was really surprising. Why do you think they decided to skip all the way to 6? I don't know. I mean, it made sense for, at Android 5.0 with Lollipop because Lollipop was such a big change to the operating system, starting from the you know the UI with the new material design approach all the way deep into the um, into the uh, actual operating system itself. Um, and I I guess they're looking at what's going on with Android 6 and some of the you know the updates and the changes that have become of the operating system and feel that it's worthy of a full version update. Um, you know, they are putting in a lot of new features into Android 6.0. You know, like we've you know, we saw it back at Google I.O. I think last time I was on the show talking talking to you was for Google I.O. You know, we're going to see more, you know, um, enhanced permissions around apps. Um, they're finally supporting fingerprint support within the operating system. They announced Android Pay, um, deep links into apps, um, and a lot of updates around the power and charging um, side of things. So I guess Google just said, hey, you know, this is a full uh, this is a full version. So we're going to go 6.0. Um, so that that's fine by me. But uh, just I, I was surprised. So what are you most excited about, the things that are going to be in Marshmallow? I'm most excited about the power, uh, you know, the battery life and power adjustments that they've been making, uh, that they've, they talk about that they've been making um, or planning to. Uh, I feel like with every version of Android, they always highlight battery usage as one of the key things that they're going to fix. And, you know, everybody wants to get the most battery life they can out of their phones. And it seems with every version – all of us Android users complain about how it sucks our battery dry and the, the battery power management is awful. Um, they claim to be fixing it with with Android, um, with Android, I got used to say Marshmallow, with 6.0 and Marshmallow. Um, they There's a specific feature within 6.0 called Doze, which will use your um, phone's accelerometer to detect when the phone is technically in standby. So for example, when, you know, when I put my phone down on the nightstand when I go to sleep at night, and the phone doesn't move for six hours, uh, the operating system will, defect, will detect the fact that the phone hasn't moved and move it into a standby mode, which is using much less power consumption and will extend the battery life. Uh, my co-host on All About Android, Jason Howell, has the developer preview of, um, of Android 6.0 installed on one of his devices, and he said the Doze feature does what they said it will, and it has it's changed the world as far as the, the life of the battery. So that's the one thing I'm the most uh, excited about. What about Android Pay? Are you going to use that, do you think? Well, I've been using Google Wallet 
uh, anyway, which so yeah, I mean, I'll just I'll just start using Android Pay because uh, it's Android Pay is basically you know kind of an extension built on top of the already pre-existing Google Pay functionality. Um, I feel like Android Pay was more of just a marketing play to keep up with the Apple Pay and the Samsung Pay and all the other movement towards uh, you know kind of one tap uh, payment systems. Uh, but yeah, I'll definitely use it. My local Walgreens has it. You know, and I'm sure any store, any other store that has it, I'll I'll gladly use that as opposed to take my wallet out. <laughs> I still feel a little bit, especially when I use my watch to use Apple Pay. I still feel like I'm getting away with something. Like I'm not actually buying something. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm sure I'm sure the receipt and the deduction from your bank account will, will prove it to you. <laughs> right, but it's the same way when you used to first shop online. It's yeah. like, oh, it's not really buying because you're not in a right. store. But yes, it is it, it, the until deduction from my wallet. Until is. you're broke and have no money. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. So now, who's in charge of Android with the restructuring of Google into Alphabet? Did that change at all? Well, it ha that hasn't changed. Um, luckily, uh, the, the the person at Google has been in charge of Android to date has been Sundar Pichai, who you probably heard is now the new CEO of Google. But as part of the restructuring, um, he Google the the organization of Google kept Android as well as YouTube and some of the other you know the search and other big you know kind of web based or you know data based uh, business units. Uh, there hasn't been any mention of somebody being assigned the head of Android to report into Sundar. So we only assume that. Sundar Pichai is still leading the Android effort, and he's been so involved and so instrumental to a lot of the changes that we've seen on Android in the past couple of years. I hope that stays the same, but that's definitely something we're keeping an eye on as the, the new world of Google develops. I got to imagine he's going to be super busy running the whole organization, and I wouldn't be surprised if we see a new head of Android uh, step in at some point. But there's no separate Android's not a separate company. There's not going to be a new yeah. CEO just of Android. Correct. Yeah, it's still it's it's still just a product under the Google uh, the Google company's uh, portfolio. Um, and if anything, we'll see a you know a, a head of Android or a director of Android or some sort of you know in charge of that product. Um, but you know, but uh, they're not spinning Android out as a separate company yet.